So when I joined the company, which was uh, nearly 15 years ago now, um, my role was then to get Lawton tubes into this particular uh, market. So we had zero customers at the time, um, and my role was to develop that side of the business. My department, as I say, looks after the sales predominantly. Uh, we now have expanded uh, over the years, so we have separate supply chain departments, uh, we have customer service departments as the team uh, has grown to, to match the business needs. So our route to market is through traditional national and independent wholesalers. So we will supply them copper tube, fittings, brazing rods and other associated products for them to distribute into the marketplace through contractors. Most popular products would be our straight length copper tube along with coils. So that is the main part of our business and probably represents 80 to 90% of our total sales. Over the years we developed into accessories which includes fittings, brazing rod and other associated products and that is growing quite nicely. The majority of our business is in the UK uh, through the independent wholesalers but in recent years alongside my colleague Robert Lawton we've moved into export and developed quite a lot of business in the Middle East uh, and Asia. Directly behind me uh, you can see straight lengths copper tube. Uh, we distribute that in wooden cases uh, not only for export because that keeps the product safe but also for the UK market. So the wholesalers will be able to store our product in a similar manner to how we're storing it here. So behind me you probably see somewhere in the region of six, seven hundred tonnes of product which in today's market would equate to somewhere in the region of five million pounds. We've got two distinct markets really within uh, this sector which is one air conditioning and secondly in refrigeration. So typical refrigeration uh, installation, which would take these straight length copper tubes here, would be for a supermarket. So where you see freezer cases and cabinets within a supermarket, underneath the floor there will be our copper tube delivering the refrigerant flow to keep those products cool. So part of our everyday lives that we probably didn't even consider, uh, our product goes into that. The second market, and probably the biggest of the two, is the air conditioning market. So cooling for your home, your office, for your supermarket, for basically any cooling application, even down to something like a, a mortuary. Cold rooms for food storage requires cooling. 